Hey guys, it's Eva and welcome to a weekly book vlog. This week I'm reading The Truth Witch on audiobook and well I've been listening to it and I don't I don't know I think I've been listening to it for a little bit too long like a few weeks now that I'm kind of getting lost in the story a little bit but I'm also reading quite a few books. Um, so I just got this one from the library and it is Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass and I'm really excited about this one. I I don't know, I just I really like Sarah J Mass, so I hope it's good. And I haven't read the other DC comic ones that it came out by authors. And this one I just wanted to show you. I'm not reading it this week, but I did pick this one up at the library. It says I paid four dollars, probably the most expensive <laughs> library book I bought from the library. But it's Sing, Unburied Sing, a novel by Jessamine Ward, and it just sounded really good. The inside flap just said it was about a little boy who has a lot of family problems in Mississippi, basically. Um but yeah, I'm really excited about that one. I've seen this one around a lot and I probably won't get it to it this week because of the audiobook and the the soul the soul stealer one. I can't renew, so I definitely have to read it this week. I'm also just starting Crooked Kingdom, which this one honestly might take me a few weeks because I usually put my library books before it. Um, I really liked Six of Crows. It took me forever to get into it, I think because of the different players. And I, I had it at a place where I wouldn't sit down and read a lot. I would just pick it up and read it sometimes and I didn't really like it. But I really, really liked it in the end. I loved it. It was one of the best like YA fantasy written I've written, read in a long time. So I'm really glad YouTubers, I guess, just really highly ranked this. And <laughs> finally I'm reading it. And then the other book I'm reading, which I probably will finish this week. So I'll probably finish the audiobook this week, I hope, and the Soul Stealer one this week, and then this one, uh, which is Detained and Deported. I checked this one out from the library. I heard that it was really good, and, and so far it's got an interesting storyline. So I'll tell you guys about it at the end of the week. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you my TBR up here above in my bedroom, I keep pretty books. But over here, um, I wanna read Prince Dracula because I read the first one. It was like hunting Jack the Ripper and it was actually a pretty decent book. Um, I heard this one is really good, Con A Conspiracy of Kings. I still haven't finished Air of Fire or Warlight. Um, I do wanna read this comic book by Diana Gobbledon. Uh, the Case for Miracles by Lee Strobel, which just came out. Uh, P. P. S. I love you by Silk. This one's been on forever, and I read it like half of it, and I just need to finish the other half. Um, and then the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So I just got this copy given to me, and I wanted to read it again. And then over here, I just got these three from Half Price Books because I love Six of Crows so much. So once I finish the other book, these ones I probably won't get to until October, but I'm hoping to read all of these by the end of September. So hopefully I get there. <laughs> okay. Now I'll say see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm in a car line right now that hasn't started yet at a school. It'll start in like 10 minutes, but I had a little bit of time, so I thought I'd update you. It's Tuesday and yesterday I didn't talk that much about just what I was gonna read, but I'm still in the middle of Truth Rich. I listened to a lot of it. Um, I probably have an hour left, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I probably have an hour left of it. I haven't done that much writing today. Yesterday I wrote for like four hours. I like just squished it into my schedule and I started reading, I've read like only 30, 40 pages of uh, The Soul Stealer and it's really good. So I think that one I'm gonna keep keep reading, focusing on right now. Um, I did go and pick up in Target. I saw this mug that's uh, a Ravenclaw mug, if you guys can see that. And I'm really picky about how mugs feel in my hand. And so I was hesitant on buying it because um, I didn't love the feel of it in my hand. But I just thought, I'll just use it on my desk and put flowers in it. Because I have like one pot I put on my desk when I have extra flowers. Um, and I throw a couple flowers in it. But it's pink and my desk is pink. And it kind of just blends in. So I just thought I might use that instead. I thought it'd be really cute. But yeah, that's all I'm going to update you really on today. And I'm gonna try and go home and squeeze in a little bit more writing. I did edit for about, like I edit grammar, which is super boring, for about an hour today. I did like three chapters. 
of grammar and it was horrible. <laughs> but yeah, see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Bye. What's up, baby, today? I'm a reading vlog. I, sorry if you can hear Power Rangers behind me. I'm still in the middle of reading Soul Stealer and it's going really well. I really like it so far. But it kind of like introduced other characters like part way through, which is pretty interesting and I like it, yeah. But right now I've gotta make my bed. <laughs> um, I woke up and I found an earwig in my bed, which is gross. So yeah, I'm gonna make my bed right now. And then yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit more of it. But yeah, hopefully I finish an actual book this week and this reading vlog, but we'll see. All right, bye. just got back from dropping off my kids and I wanted to show you this writing outfit I'm wearing today. It's like pajamas, but I totally dropped off my kids in it. Anyway, it says Gryffindor, if you can see that right there. I got this at Target and I think these were 17 um, and they have a gold thing. And then these, I think were seven for all, all, all the houses. And then, yeah, this was on clearance for like $4, but I really like this. It's really comfortable and it's soft and silky and I love Thursdays so happy Thursday on Thursdays um, you might notice I'm gonna be like really happy all the time because <laughs> number one uh, the two kids well my daughter and my nephew who I watch are in preschool and then we have coffee and um, while they're at preschool I have four hours of uninterrupted let me go get my laptop writing time, which is really, really cool. And I haven't, like in the nine years since I've had kids, I had some time, like, when my daughter went to preschool, but she, once I was like, I was pregnant during it and kind of sick, and she only went for a few hours, so I never had like that much time. Like I couldn't even leave the area really she was at. I had to go to like the library right for like an hour. So I never got like this much time. It's amazing. This is my daughter's. Um, she was reading with me last night. Book thing. Anyways, I've been reading Catwoman and I absolutely love it. This is how far I am only, but I will probably finish it in the next few days. Absolutely love this. Like I want to go read. Oh, I noticed there was a poster in here. I want to go read, check out all these ones. So, and because now I've read Leah, Lee Bordugo, um, I really want to check out that one next because I love her writing. But I think, I don't know if this comes, this is the library edition, obviously. So I'm sure this comes in the normal edition, but there is a poster in it, which is really cool. But I really love it so far. And I want to check out the rest of them just because I love this book so, so much. I love Catwoman. I never really knew about Catwoman before, but I really, really like it. Oh, and that's the other book. Still working on it. But, yeah, I'm going to write, and it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, and the other day I got this cup, and I showed you at Target. Um, I also got these pants at the same time, but this is how it's looking. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh, shoot. Alexa, turn on Eva's lamp. Let's see if it does it. Oh, it did it. There you go. So there's a nice little shot of the flowers. We could open up the window here while I'm writing. I have ideas that I don't have time. I'll write them down real fast, but um, I always have it with me just to back check that I'm like writing about the right character right. And then sometimes I like to do it a little bit movie style where you write the index card and all that stuff. So that's pretty fun. So that's us usually out. And then yeah. She lays under the bed while I write. Anytime I want, I can just lean down and pet her. 
a tinker. Her name's Tinkerbell. Because she's like a tank. So we call her Tinker Tank a lot. She's so happy, aren't you? She's a big lady. <laughs> having her lander here but she's moved so I'm gonna move her dog bed and I still have 11 15 12 15 I still have two hours of riding guys so just leaving the neighborhood but I um it's 12 12 17 so I didn't get to write I wrote one and a half hours I guess or no I wrote two and a half hours but my mother-in-law just called and she needs to get me something so we're just gonna go eat lunch and I was hungry anyway so I didn't get my full four hours in but I'll probably make up for it maybe tomorrow if I can clean my house pretty fast but yeah I took like a couple minutes and threw in some makeup but I'm gonna go meet her and I don't know if I might see you tomorrow if I do that's fine on Friday or I might share Hi guys, so this morning I brought my kids up to play and yeah, I just got out of the shower so I'm going to do my makeup, but I brought my kids up to play and I finished reading this, Catwoman Soul Stiller, and it was really, really good. I loved it. It does have like previews to the ones I want to check out, but I don't really want to read the previews, but it was so good. So I did finish one book this week so far, um, but right now I'm going to listen to uh, the Truth Witch so I can finish that. But this book was really good. I liked it. It's about Catwoman and Batwing. Um, it's told from two different perspectives. The main person's Catwoman. Um, but this morning, yeah, I'd gotten to the part where like, the story was heavily going. You just have to find out what happens. But yeah, her, she's the opposite. She's causing a lot of trouble for Batwing. And uh, they don't know who each other are. They live in the same building, though, and you know all that in the very beginning. Um, but yeah, as the story goes on, you get more of her history. Well, you start off with her history. It starts in the past and then you jump forward, but then you get more of her history, more, a little of his history, now a lot of Batwings. But I think the next one I'm gonna read is this one, Batman by Mary Lou, but I really, really liked it. I would recommend it, I'd buy it. I liked it, it was cute. And she works with like, who does she work with? She works with like Poison Ivy and a bunch of cool people like that. Uh, no, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and then a little bit with the Joker, of course, because of Harley Quinn, but then, yeah, just, just keep reading.
culture of marble, so I can only use soapy water like granite. Um, but I do make an antibacterial mix myself that is um, like, it'll sanitize it a little bit better. So alcohol, I believe, is like one of the lowest pH sanitizers. And so yeah, it's just distilled water, alcohol, and lavender drops. Peroxide, half water, and then it has lemon, tea tree, and lavender oil in it, which are all natural. I'm gonna go clean the bathroom with this stuff. Don't really like this stuff, but it's a general all purpose cleaner. And I'm trying to use it up, so why not use it on the toilet? To go in here and do this whole room here. And Clean about three other bath, two other bathrooms, and a bunch of other rooms, basically. So yeah, get going. But I'm not gonna clean my floors until I won't clean my floors until like the entire house is done. So. Bees, baby stuff, which is like made all with sweet almond oil. ton more cleaning to do and I've got to go get my kids soon so I'll see you guys probably Sunday I doubt I vlog Saturday just because we'll be having like family time and everything so I'll probably see you Sunday for a wrap up and I'll tell you how the book I went to listening um <laughs> how the truth with went listening today uh while I was cleaning up and yeah I'll see you back Sunday hopefully I write a little more okay bye Hey guys, uh, so it's Sunday, the end of the week, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog this week. It was different for me. Um, I didn't finish Truth Witch. I said I had like an hour left, but it turns out I think that was like part one or something away. My audiobook had split it up because it kept going and going and going, and I think I'm only halfway through now. And I think I knew what the problem with it is. It's not that it's a bad story by any means, because there's kind of a lot going on. But it's not like a full cast. So it's the same woman's voice playing so many different characters. I think that's where it's losing me slightly. I think I might enjoy it better as a book actually. And yeah, the only book I guess I finished was the Soul Stiller one and I really liked it. Um, Catwoman Soul Stiller. It's really good. I would highly recommend it. But yeah, that's the end of this week's vlog. Let me just show you <laughs> this book room. I'll show you what it looked like before next week and what I'm going to do to it. But it's insane. Like, 
it is crazy how bad it is. Um, yeah, so let me just turn you around and show you. Anyways, all these books here in the middle are books I have not hauled, so they're just stuck here in the middle, some of them. And then other ones were pulled out because I wanted to, I don't know, I was filming in front of them, and then, then all my main ones are slipped around, which I hate now because I don't remember the way they are and people come over and they ask for books and it kind of carries around on this and then there's over here there's like we just haven't hung up pictures still here's my husband's guitars in that corner a little spare bed that sometimes kids come over and take a nap on it's just it's a wreck in here my lights are up but yeah that's what I'm going to be doing next week some point there'll be a huge organization so look out for that next week and yeah the only other thing I wanted to do was because I have not sat down and made a formal haul vi video, I kind of want to just haul quickly like one of these stacks and then like every week if I keep this up and if I like doing these like reading vlogs and like every week hopefully I just show you one of the stacks that I hold. <laughs> so the mysteries of the utmost, hap utmost happiness, I think last year I put this in like I'm excited about this new book. Let's see what this was about. Through many years in... Old Delhi, Central, in okay, through a bunch of places, Kashmir, Central India, Old Delhi. So yeah, that's what I'm actually really excited about because it was like a book I was anticipating and excited about. But yeah, now I can put it in my normal stack because I've hauled it. The other one was a, I think it, they put it in YA, but I think it's a middle grade book, but it's War Horse. I really liked the movie, so I thought I'd read this with my kid or I'd read it myself. That book I own. I don't know how that got over here. This one I showed recently. It's Caraval. And I found this one for like a dollar at I don't remember where. But I really liked it. When I saw it, I read the second one. And I really liked it as well. So if I ever see the second one, I'll pick it up to go with it. Or if I see it on sale somewhere. Uh, the next one is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I really liked this book. It was one of the first John Green books I like really loved and enjoyed. Next one, I bought a full price book. <laughs> was the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. It was because the Netflix movie was coming out. Really liked it by Marianne Schaefer and Ann Barles. If you haven't seen the Netflix special, go check it out. The next one I bought was Bear Town. This one I did pay relatively full price for, I think, I believe. Loved Bear Town. I got the new one and I paid full price for that one too. And it's like us against you. But I absolutely love these. I might have got this at half price books actually. I might take that back. But I absolutely love this, love this author. I've given one of these copies away. Like I bought more than one of these copies and given it away. So if you ever see me haul a second copy of something, it's probably because I've given it away. The next one is Z, a novel of Zelda Fitzgerald. I just really like this. I love Scott Fitzgerald because he is one of my favorite authors of all time because he wrote The Great Gatsby and it's one of my favorite books of all time. And so yeah, I thought this would be interesting and a good read. Uh, the next one I bought just because he is one of my favorite authors as well is Gregory McGuire, The Egg and the Spoon. I think this might be a children's book, this one, this particular one. I'm not sure. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I absolutely love him. I think I got this one at Half Price Books. And I'm excited for it. It's in really good condition. I feel like it wasn't read, whoever turned it in. Or they just take care of their books really well. Like I do. Um, ooh, I got this one. Which is totally off the series. Which is really historically incorrect. Because I did take like a, a few history classes during this period. But I love the series. So I thought I'd go ahead and give the book a little whirl. And I'm sure I got it for like 79 cents at the Goodwill. So, or it might have been um, a bunch of these books might have came from like a huge bag sale because every year all the books that don't sell at Friends at the Library, um, they like sell everything really cheaply. And the last day they sell them by the bag. It's like $2 to fill up a whole bag of books. So it might have came from that because they wouldn't have probably, I don't know. But look how big the writing is. I just thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> I like it. I liked the series. I watched the series. Um, okay, so this one is Love in Other Words. It's about a pediatric resident, and she's kind of starting her life, and she runs into an old love. Christian Lauren is a best-selling author. I know she writes a lot of romance, so I thought I'd give it a whirl because it sounded interesting. 
Um, and I think it flips back in time, both, both like past and present. And it sounds like a contemporary novel I'm actually interested in. These are very popular and I haven't read them, but Amy Kaufman, as we all know, I absolutely love. And Jake Kristoff, I don't think I've read anything by him. Um, so this is the Illuminae Files number one. This is the first book. These things are gigantic, but then I looked inside and I thought, maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to read that one actually for YA. Ooh. And okay. This one is about an Amish young lady. My mom gives me these Amish books, my sister, and they absolutely love them and swear by them. So I'm going to have to try them out. This one's a place at our table, and it's about a young lady who ignores a fireman, and she's discouraging her brother to become a fireman. But it sounds like a cute little love story probably there. Um, this, one, so this one is about a young girl who was orphaned really young. And then the guy is, has left the Amish community like 17 years prior, I think, or something like that. So that one sounded interesting as well. And I'm sure this was given to me by my mom. And this one, Place at a Table, A Simple Prayer by Amy Clemson, both of them. Amy Clemson, I think my mom has said that name a lot, so I think she really likes them. And my mom does read a ton because she's an English teacher and... Um, yeah, she just, she reads a ton. So she wouldn't read authors that weren't great, I guess you would say. So this one, I think it's Scottish or is this Irish? It doesn't say. Well, this is either Scottish or Irish. It's probably the reason I picked up the book cover and it's a loyal heart. It's about a young woman who becomes captive and then the captive general she really likes, but the captive is her father's enemy and she's a super loyal girl. And yeah, easy beach read there. Excited for that one. This one um, is John Green and David Lefiathan, uh, The Will Grayson Story. I read most of John Green's books because they're really easy to read. And I'm excited about this one. Look how like big the print is. But I have no idea what this one's about. I just picked it up because of the author's name. To you. Um, this is Les Miserables, but look, it's a paperback. And it was like a really nice paperback that had like never been used. And I have a big bound one and it's hard to read. I love to read big books like this in a softback. And I'd really like to reread this because the first time I read it, it was like done in sections in high school, I believe. So yeah, I'd like to reread this particular copy and it feels really nice. I think it's a Borders classic from back in the day when Borders was still a thing. This one take off the sticker here looks like a page 50 cents for but this one I think my daughter and I would love together this one is Nanny McPhee the collected tales of nurse Matilda but yeah I saw the movie is really cute I'm sure the book's cute and I'm excited for that middle grade read and then the other one is by Roald Dahl one I haven't heard of um we didn't read a ton of Roald Dahl growing up where we where I lived but this one's Danny and the champion of the world and we love Road Dolls so far, me and my daughter. So yeah, we're gonna head on to this one too. And that's the last of that book stack that I'll do. And every week I could do it for several weeks, uh, just do a book stack and not, and haul the books I read, um, or all the books I bought and or bought that I need to read. Some of them I have read, I guess, because Bear Town I had read. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog this week and See you guys next week and come back because I've got to organize this whole room. <laughs> All right. Bye.